There's a delay of our screen, our mouse, our input, our internet, the server sending information for you, you sending information for the server, but there's also a human delay. Your eye receiving the lights that are coming from the monitor and processing through like electricity things that happen in your brain and understanding what's going on. And then there's a delay of you sending information and inputs. What if I tell you guys there is a way to improve your gameplay literally right now? gonna change the way you play from point a to point b and you're gonna see the game completely different and it's gonna absolutely help you to get gradient to whatever rank you want this video is gonna be extremely didactic so if you have the tiktok brain it's gonna be kind of hard for you to watch but i promise you put in 2x or something like this this is gonna help you all so much i promise you first thing i want to show you guys two clips so you guys can understand what do i mean first clip is this one As you guys can see in the first clip, in the second queue over here, what I'm going to talk today is movement patterns and how can you decipher the movements of the enemy so you can have like a note of each enemy that you're playing against. Viper, I knew this guy always crouch. Every time you see a Sentinel player, the majority of the time, if they are a very passive player, they're not going to have good aim. They're going to be extremely smart because that's how they balance having bad aim, being smart. Because there's, it's all good that not having good aim. This is not, aim is not everything in the game. And I, I understood this very late because I've always focused on my aim. Uh, if you want to be like a super good player, you need to have a little bit of everything. And a Sentinel player normally tends to have like decent to medium aim. But they normally are desperate trying to shoot at you. As soon as you get into the site, if they see the first enemy, if, he, if they get a kill and hold a little bit of the enemy team, that's already enough, right, for them. They're already helping uh, the, 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 their team a lot if they do this. So that's, that's what I'm trying to say uh, when it comes to Sentinel players. This is Kira, by the way. So she's the most beautiful dog on the planet. I haven't heard of that 20. So when it comes to aim, is there's different ways to evolve there's many videos in my channel the first thing is whenever you and note down everything that i'm going to say because i'm going to say extremely important things for you guys that want to evolve if you want to evolve if you are in a bad rank like let's say gold ascent whatever rank you are i'm going solo to radiant i'm doing a series here in the channel prove to you guys that it's possible and if i can do it i'm not special guys I'm, i swear to god i am not special i'm very simple i don't I'm, i don't have nothing special i'm not super smart or anything like this but if I can do it, you guys can do it too. And today's video is brought to you by War Thunder. And War Thunder is one of the most comprehensive vehicles combat games ever made. And it is available right now for free on PC and consoles. You can take the comment of over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships of the 10 major nations. Ranging from biplanes and armored cars of the 1920s to the fighter jets and main battle tanks of today. All the vehicles are so detailed and realistic and everything is so aesthetic and the most powerful war machines of our time are there. You can join a worldwide community right now of over 70 million players in epic PvP battles today. There's simply no game better suited for the fans of military history. And the crazy thing about the game is that there is not only boxes with hit points. War Thunder is actually has one of the most sophisticated vehicle damage models in the gaming industry. Every vehicle is intricately modeled down to its individual components like engines, fuel tanks, weapons, and crew, all susceptible for damage or disabling from the enemy fire. Also, War Thunder offers three distinct modes, each ramping up the realism progressively. Arcade suit those are craving a fast-paced match, with enhanced vehicle performance and simplified physics, while the simulator mode ditches all the guard drills for the ultimate challenge. The realistic mode is the perfect middle ground, it strikes a balance between intensity and authenticity. Wherever you choose to play, you'll find it there. And if we talk about customization, War Thunder features a comprehensive customization system with countless camouflage historical markings and decorations for all type of vehicles, including community created ones. You do not need extra hardware like a wheel or anything. You can drive any tank, fly any aircraft with nothing but your mouse and keyboard or controller, even if you're in simulator mode. War Thunder is super well optimized. It runs in the house developed Dago engine is heavily optimized to deliver a lag-free experience with impressive visuals and high frame rates even if you have a low-end machine. You can download War Thunder right now for free, you can play on PC, Xbox and PlayStation and if you use my link right now with a limited offer you're gonna get free skin, Eagle of Valor decoration, 100k silver lions 
premium beacons, booster of 50%, a seven days premium account and many other items that you can check right now in the video thank you so much for thunder for sponsoring this video let's go back to the content before you get into a fight what you want to do is have this future predictability on your brain what do i mean by that whenever you're opening an angle if you keep pressing the key and don't like stop or like release the key whatever you guys do if you don't stop if you don't release the key you're not going to be accurate what you want is to predict when you need to be accurate so you need to have in your mind what is a red angle uh, red zone blue zone uh yellow zone right the blue zone is zones that you can chill yellow zones are zones that you need to be aware of your surroundings and red zones are zones that you go going to fight someone the, per the, the the percentage of being someone there is like 80 to 90 percent you're going to be fighting him so that's when you get into your mindset, your brain plus your aim. You're gonna be like, okay, this is a red zone, so I need to be predict. I need to have this predictability where I'm gonna release the key in the right spot. But normally, people tend to think that if you do ex like, let's say I want to pick this guy, right? Right, like this. Exactly. People tend to do exactly like this. Open one step at a time, one step, one step at a time. This is bad because you're not gonna be as fast as in, as fast in, as you could in the enemy screen. What you want to do and you, you need to abuse this a lot in this game a lot like i respect riot and everything like they have incredible servers i think valorant has the best servers in fps gaming history but it does have picker's advantage that's a fact the way you abuse picker's advantage is going one step ahead from the angle they want to pick so every single time you're going to pick an angle if i want to pick exactly like properly like the majority of people think is properly it's like this right i would just open for this guy and pick him like this right the proper way to pick in my opinion which i think is way more effective is like this you're gonna go after a little like one step from the angle that you should be picking the problem with this is you're gonna appear for more people that's the thing whenever you do this you don't want to stay still after picking you want to do like this and then go back and try to get under the queue and the thing about picker's advantage is that you guys always watch my videos and here's like one of those clips you guys always watch my videos and say why is the enemy whiffing on you like why are they not they're not even shooting at you or something like this this clip over here i think is one of the best ways to explain what i mean here i opened the angle right let's let's let me put this in a little bit in slow motion so you guys can understand i will open the angle i see one two and three because i saw this this guy shooting the worst targets over here target selection is another thing that you need to note down the target selection selection is extremely important the first thing that i see here is i have three things that i need to shoot first the drone the second jet and omen right and there's another guy here four things how do i manage to target selection like what what's gonna make my life easier here jet is jumping it's gonna be really hard to shoot this guy because he's all over the place this guy he wants to hide from my flashbang because i already have in mind okay omen is so fully blind he just want to hide from my flashbang so he probably gonna go to the right side so the first thing that i do bang kill the guy now i'm spot the the drone got me i'm spotted by the drone but i have an e so i can fade away i aim at the jet and still i have two e's over here so i can use to take a, a one tap and deep right so look what i'm gonna do Got this guy i didn't even need to use the e i should be healing over here the majority of people won't understand this and they won't do what i just did here which is target selecting well and you can note down that before shooting at the jet i'm not like desperate trying to shoot and get all my shots off i'm literally getting my aim to their to her head and then i'm i'm pressing the button to shoot right so you can see there's a little delay when i put my aim in, in her head and when i shoot look at this delay bang see there's this micro delay but it kind of looks fast right look it looks like a flick but it wasn't kind of move the mouse super quick and then make sure okay brain do you understand your aim is literally in your head okay cool click look how i'm strafing back and forward and kind of not not stopping at all look at this strafing again full speed and stop but look at the predictability Look how I'm predicting that there's going to be another enemy exactly at this point, And I stopped before. Like, that guy saw me, like, super quick on his head. But I already stopped, right? 
I, I don't know if you guys can understand what I mean. Like, look, I'm gonna put his low mo. Stopped. Bang. That guy's like in her in his screen. I was like moving super quick because I had momentum over there. He tried to shoot me and look where he shot. Like instead of shooting like towards me over here, he shot a little bit more to the right side. Because there is a delay, like we're playing video games online, so there's delays. There's a delay of our screen, our mouse, our inputs, our internet, the server sending information for you, you sending information for the server. But there's also a human delay, which is your eye receiving the lights that are coming from the monitor and processing through a bunch of like electricity things that happen in our brain and understanding what's going on. And then there's a delay of you sending information and inputs. So that's what you want to play. Like you want to play in this thin line where you're going to be moving and kind of playing with this, with, with the mental of each person that you're playing against. I know it's like, I'm not a scientist or anything like this, but like, it may make sense for me. I don't know if it's going to make sense for you guys, but I really wanted to make this video because a lot of you guys ask me, how do you make people miss, miss you and with? And I've been playing Radiant Mortal like forever, forever. You ranking up and, and doing the series. I always tend to... to put the ranks that was when i got radiant uh for the third time i think oh look at the amount of kills that i was dropping in radiant slash immortal dude like this is crazy and i was playing versus pros in brazil i was playing versus really good players like 21 10 37 15 37 twice in a row 25 and this is radiant and then uh my my two of my radiant teammates fight and like it is what it is like we, we lost this match but what i'm trying to explain to you guys is that I'm not special. If I can do it, you guys can do it too. Please, put everything that I told you today, note down and do it. Exercises. You guys always ask me, what type of exercise do I need to do? Stop doing exercises. Please, stop. Like, all those videos, they always try to find a miracle way to warm up, a miracle way to do something. Like, there is good warm-ups, okay? But it's not necessary. What you guys need to do is to apply what you learn and stop warming up and stop training forever. Just apply in-game, okay? Whenever you're playing a game, don't let your mind control, uh, don't let your emotions control the way you play. Try to play with your mind, okay? It's like, if you're gonna pick an angle, try to pick it properly. Try to think about what you're gonna do. Just don't do it in automatic because a lot of you guys just play automatic. Like, do, do, you guys don't focus on what's going on in your environment and tunnel vision a lot. Try to like stay out, try to see your body from an outside perspective so you can understand how to play the game in a different and more effective way. This is the idea of the video.